Hello. In this digital citizenship lesson, we are going to be looking at what data people collect from you as a way of customizing their products in this lesson called Big Big Data. The driving question or the essential question is how do companies collect and use data about you? It's a very important question because every time you go on the internet and every time you click on something on the internet, somebody or someone collects the data about you. Let's see how they do it. The learning objectives for today is to explain why information about them and their behaviors is valuable to the companies. Our second objective is to analyze how certain types of data are used by companies. And the third objective is to learn three strategies for limit individual data collection by companies. So imagine you had the opportunity to design a brand new product for teenagers. You could have any amount of money and materials you need to make the product. How would you come up with an idea? And what questions would you ask? So we have to consider, when we consider that question, we have to consider who the consumer is. And our consumer is a person who buys products or services for use. For instance, if you go to Geek Squad at Best Buys, the consumers are the people who need their computers fixed. If you go to a Honda or a Toyota or a Subaru uh, car dealership, the consumer are the people who want to buy a car. Along with being a, a consumer, we also provide data. And data is our facts and statistics collected together to be used for different purposes. Another key vocabulary is who are these companies targeting? So we use targeted advertising. When apps or websites use val in valuable information they have collected about you to show you uh, certain types of advertisements. For instance, if you go to a site like Amazon and you keep shopping for similar things, uh, Amazon has a way of collecting that data and showing you similar products that you might want to buy in the future. If you want to limit what is tracked, turn off cookies. There is a way of doing that through your browser. Cookies are used to identify your device, give you personal experience, and track your behavior. You can turn them off using your privacy settings. You might want to adjust your privacy settings. Most apps have privacy settings you can adjust to limit what information is collected. You can make your account private and deny access to location information and contacts. You can also limit what you share. If it isn't necessary, don't provide an email address or link your profile from another app or website. If these are required, check the privacy policy to see how that information is being used. And the last key vocabulary word is cookies. No, not the cookies you eat but the cookies is data that is stored on your computer. They're small text files stored on the computer that keeps track of what a person does on the website. It is important for you to clear out your cookies once in a while so that you keep your privacy safe. So you're going to be given a worksheet called Threadmeister. You're going to ask Mr. Ringo for this worksheet and what you're going to do is there are two parts or three parts. Uh, the first part is review the consumer data and write what you think what it means for your new product. The second one is decide what type of products you will design, and what details you will include, and then use the space on the handout to create a picture of it. Make sure to include details that are based on the data above in part one. On the separate sheet or on the back of the handout, write one paragraph explaining how you use the data to choose and design your product. Be ready to show your product. Uh, at the end of class. At the end of class, after we share the product, you will paste this Threadmeister worksheet into your notebooks.